Look, on another topic, just before we came on air tonight, breaking news, Senator Matt Canavan, you tabled a report, an interim report, into the Council 2026 Commonwealth Games, urging action from the federal government to try and save the event. Matt Canavan, you tabled this report. What are you asking here? Well, we've got three years, three years to go here, uh, less really, and the clock's ticking um, uh, on the Commonwealth Games in 2026. Uh, we've successfully, as a Commonwealth, successfully held the, the Commonwealth Games every time uh, except since World War II. And I don't think we as a country uh, want to preside over the first time, the first failure uh, in more than 70 years. And now, I'm not blaming the, the federal government. I'll be very clear here. It's got nothing... This decision, the cancellation, has got nothing to do with the Albanese government. This is all the fault of Dan Andrews and all of that blame should be sheeted home to him. However, when you are the Prime Minister, sometimes you've got to get your hands dirty and fix problems which you didn't create. Sometimes they're acts of God. Sometimes they're just things that happen. Sometimes it's the Morrison to, government. You've got to, well, whatever it is, yeah, there's, there's mistakes we made too that you've got to clean up. I've been open about that. You've got to take responsibility. And what we have at the moment is the Prime Minister not taking any responsibility. His own sports minister has not even been briefed by her department about this issue. She's not met with the Commonwealth Games Federation to try and discuss how we move forward. We've got more proactivity from a mayor on the Gold Coast here trying to find mm. a solution. He's put his hand up, put his city up, saying, let's do something, let's just try. Uh, and the, and, the, and, and um, Anthony Albanese is acting like Pontius Pilate and washing his hands. Let's just try and save the games. Maybe it's not possible, but let's give it mm. a go, Albo. Our athletes deserve that. Uh, uh, the Pacific Islands that participate in these support, support want that. They told the committee that. Let's, let's try and make this happen. All right, we're out of time, but very quickly, Patrick Gorman, do you think there should be a review into whether the federal government should try and save the Commonwealth Games, even though it was the Victorian government, Daniel Andrews' fault that they have been cancelled? Look, it won't surprise you. I haven't read Matt's report that he's just tabled. Uh, I'm sure at some point I will, but I haven't yet. What it come, when it comes down to it, uh, Matt knows, as well as every other member of parliament in this place, it is states that are uh, the proponents of these bids uh, where there are good proposals, as we've seen in Queensland for the Olympics and Paralympics in 2032, we partner with them, get something good. And I'm pleased to be backing a great set of events that's happening in Matt's home state. Uh, that will be good for Australia. I'm from Western Australia. I'm excited about the Olympics and Paralympics coming down under. That'll be great. Uh, but uh, I think the, uh, the horse is well and truly bolted on uh, uh, Australia's role in the... Um, 20, Someone 20, else's problem. The Someone horse has bolted. Problem. Well, all right. Well, <laughs> a debate to be continued. Patrick Gorman and Matt Canavan, thank you both very much.